Oh, man, would you look at the time. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. Let me make sure I got the mic turned on here. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. How you doing this morning? It is Tuesday morning, August the 7th, bright and early, five minutes after seven. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Abby. Man, great to see all of you hopping in here this morning. Today, I think I've got a topic for you. Just, I'm going to tell you, put on some boots. You know, the kind with the steel toe. There might be some toe stepping going on today. But it's all in an effort to get better. I have to remind myself of this from time to time as well. Before I get to that, though, here's my regular admonition. If you're listening on your favorite podcast, catch your iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, SoundCloud, watching on YouTube, anywhere other than the Facebook page, find some time, make some time. You owe it to yourself to go to 7minutesinthemorning.com, get you the right Facebook page. You can join in the conversation that's going to go on there with Joe and Sarah and Abby and everybody else that joins us throughout the morning this morning. Catherine. <laughs> oh, my live video can't hate you. It's not a real thing. It's real. It's not a living thing. Anyway, um... Yeah, okay, now I'm back on track. All right, so this morning, how to stop getting paid for the hour. I was thumbing through my list of quotes this morning and came upon a great one here from one of the guys I like a lot, Jim Rohn. And he says, he reminds us that we don't get paid by the hour. We don't get paid for the hour. A lot of people get wrapped up in this idea of an hourly rate or an hourly equivalent or how much I should charge an hour or... Blah, de, blah, de, blah. And, and let me ask you this question. If you had an hour to live and you were going to sell that to somebody, how much would you sell it for? Probably more than you're making an hour right now. But that's what you're doing when you, when you focus on this hourly rate, even an hourly equivalent. Is just trading time for dollars, right? And here's, I mean, that in and of itself is bad, but here's the worst part. When you do that, you, you create a commodity situation for yourself. If I'm just selling an hour, there's lots of people that do what I do. Some of them, one of them could undercut me, and all of a sudden, we're in a commodity race to the bottom of the pile. And who's going to win that? Not me. Right. When you charge by the hour, you are acknowledging, hey, my office aide came in to help. Hey, come up here and say good morning. No, she doesn't want to. When you charge by the hour, you are acknowledging that anybody could do what you do for the rate that you charge. Now, if that's not how we do it, then how do we do it? So let's go back over here to... Mr. Rohn's quote, you don't get paid for the hour, you get paid for the value you bring to the hour. Think about it this way. If you are, and this is, this particular example resonates with me and there might be another one that resonates with you, but if, if you're a web designer, right, and somebody uh, engages you to design a website. You're going to design that website. And if you're smart, you're going to save it, you know, take some of the specific things out of it, but that goes into your template file, right? Or your sample book. So that when other people come and ask about you building a website, you can say, well, here's some others that I've done. You wouldn't recreate that from scratch every time. They don't redesign every car that rolls off the assembly line every time. Oh, they make one pattern and they reuse it. So if it took you 10 hours to, to design and build that website the first time, but the second time it only takes you an hour to implement it, and you're charging by the hour, do you charge them 10 hours or one hour? 
And why should the first person have to pay all of that and all the subsequent people not have to pay for that? Right? So you're bringing, in, in every case where you implement that particular design, you are bringing a level of value. Now, you can argue that it's a variable level of value and can get into the nuances of that at some point, but here's that's not the point. Here is the point, right? Value, if you don't value your time, nobody else is going to do it for you, right? Create value for the people that you're working with and then charge based on the value that you create. It's got nothing to do with how much time it takes you. There's a, a an anecdote I've heard attributed to Picasso. I haven't, I don't know for sure that it was him, but he was in in a restaurant and he doodled something on the back of a napkin. The woman recognized him, went over and asked if he could, if she could buy the napkin. He said, "Sure, it'll be ten thousand dollars." She's like, "Well, it just took you thirty seconds to draw it. I sat here and watched you." And he said, "No, ma'am, it took me my whole life. You're the cumulative value. You are bringing the cumulative knowledge and experience to the table." Why are you short shortcutting yourself by charging by the hour? Now, personally, I like to charge by the product. In fact, I don't even offer an hourly rate. Right? Charge by the project, the product, the outcome. And then what's that outcome, that product, that project worth to the customer? And honestly, sometimes I don't get what I think, and even they agree that it's really worth because they're just not comfortable dealing in numbers that big. So we work into it. But I want you to think about the work that you do, especially if you are working for somebody else. Are you, are you creating value? If you want to be paid more, create more value. And don't, don't just refuse to engage in this race for an hourly rate. And I, honestly, I get asked that a lot. And I just, well, I don't charge an hourly rate. I charge based on results. So tell me what you're trying to achieve. And then create a quote. Now, you got to get really comfortable. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with. you got to get really comfortable in asking for that amount of money. Because it's more than you're probably used to talking about. So when you have that problem, I get this coffee. Ah, when you have that problem, if you have a problem asking a, for a rate that you honestly believe you're worth, practice saying it in the mirror and say it out loud. Don't say it in your head. <clears throat> Let your ears hear the words. All right? Don't charge by the hour. There. Is that clear enough? <laughs> you don't get paid for the hour. You get paid for the value you bring to the hour. And remember, if you're not getting paid enough, you're not delivering enough value. And value, who determines value? Somebody write that in the comments real quick. Who determines how valuable something is? Someone? Anyone? Bueller? Sarah says it takes it does take practice to ask for higher rates, but as people say yes because they see the value, it gets easier. There's some confirmation going on there, right? It, it It's one thing to ask for a million-dollar rate. It's another one to get somebody to pay it, right? Yes, Sarah is correct. The buyer, the buyer determines the value. I can put, I can, I can pull a junky old car out here next to the road and put slap a, you know, $100,000 for sale sign on it. Nobody's going to buy it. Why? Because they don't value it that way. They will assess a value and they might make an offer and then we have to negotiate, right? But the buyer is the one that determines value. So if you want to raise your income, if you want to raise your impact, then raise your value. And remember that the recipient, the buyer, is the one that determines value. All right, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up there. It's Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. I got to get out of here. Get down to the radio station. Fred's doing a live remote today. So I'll have the studio all to myself. Well, Scotty will be there. But I won't have to wait on him to vacate for me to move in. So that'll be nice. 
You guys should tune in, listen to that. That comes at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock on WTKI. That's 1450 AM and 105.3, new FM frequency, 105.3 in Huntsville. Or you can listen live online, WTKIRadio.com, the very best place to listen. It's talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. That gets you to that Facebook page. You can even go and watch, not three years worth, but a year, at least a year's worth of, uh, back shows. The whole catalog is there. You can go watch them. Thank you so much for being here with me this morning. It's always a pleasure to see if you got value out of what we talked about today. Awesome. That kind of proves my point, but do me a favor and do your network a favor. Share this video with them. Let them get in on some of the action. You guys, if I don't talk to you on the radio, you have a great, terrific Tuesday, and I'll talk to you again in the morning.